de Luna, Russell, Herrera, Russell, Valera, Russell. Handa ba tayo sa school year 2020? Russell! Ngayong taon, ang edukasyon tuloy pa rin. Sa tulong ng DepEd, mga guro at mga magulang, ang hanggang isip, handa bukas. Tuloy-tuloy ang pag-aaral. May mga lessons para sa iba't ibang antas. Sa Government TV, maging sa radyo, mahalagang ligtas ang ating mga estudyante guro. Kaya kahit nasa bahay, tuloy ang edukasyon. Kung tulong-tulong, may paraan, may aralan. Hanggang isi, handa bukla. Bisitahin ang GapEd Philippines sa Facebook at ang gapeb.gov.pa. To start today's episode, these are the five wonder tips for you to remember to keep your back, neck, and eyes healthy while indulging in some screen time. This is Teacher Melvin's Healthy Tips for Every Huan. Number one, sit properly so you are well supported. Your back should be touching the chair backrest. Number two, change your position regularly. If you are watching for long periods, take turns sitting on the couch chair or floor. Number three, keep dim lighting on in the room rather than no lighting. Strong or no lighting may lead to eye damage over time. Number four, stretch. Use commercial breaks to change positions, to get up and walk around and to do gentle stretches. Number five, don't watch TV in bed as this often leads to neck and back ache. There, you are now ready to begin. Hello, Wonder Warriors! It's me, Teacher Melvin, your companion to your Wonder Science Adventures. Learn everything under the sun because here at Deped TV, grade 10 science is fun. So buckle up and get ready to power your mind. This is Wonder Science! Last episode, we explored the different areas in the Philippines that are prone or vulnerable to earthquakes using a political map. Specifically, you learned that earthquakes are natural geological phenomena caused by the sudden and rapid movement of large volume of rock. The violent shaking and destruction caused by earthquakes are the result of the rupture and slippage along fractures of Earth's crust called faults. Can you still recall what happens when an earthquake starts? Awesome! I commend you for your quick thinking. Remember, the sudden release of energy from an earthquake sends out several different shaking movements or seismic waves. Well done, Wonder Warriors! I am impressed with your progress. Also, last episode, I asked you to post a famous landmark or tourist destination that your city or region is known for. Let us see your post in Facebook using hashtag Certified Wonder Traveler. You made it happen. I knew you could do it. This time, let us check your assignment. I am thrilled to see your earthquake preparedness plan posted in Facebook using hashtag WonderReady. Wonderful sharing, Wonder Warriors. Keep up the good attitude. With that, you deserve a remarkable badge. To start today's lesson, let's have a short game. First, kindly prepare the following materials. Pencil and a piece of paper. For this activity, we need to pass through five levels in order to reach the finish line. Once we get there, a treasure box awaits. Are you up for the challenge? In order to reach the finish line, help me reveal the mystery scrambled word. We only have 
five seconds to guess it correctly. Write down your answer in a piece of paper. Are you ready? Wonder Warriors, let's vote in! Level 1 What is the mystery word? You're on the right track! The mystery word is Spender! Level 2 What is the mystery word? You must have been practicing. The mystery word is shield. Level three. What is the mystery word? You got it right. The mystery word is composite. Level four. What is the mystery word? Awesome! The mystery word is inactive. And for the final level, what is the mystery word? Fantastic! The mystery word is dormant. Excellent work, Wonder Warriors! We have reached the finish line. These are the mystery words that we were able to reveal in the activity. Cinder, shield, composite, inactive, and dormant. How many mystery words were you able to reveal? Well done! If you got all five, you just earn your super badge. Wonder Warriors, never forget to take note of the important details in a piece of paper. Remember, by taking down notes, you can easily remember our lesson. And now, kindly prepare the following materials. A piece of paper, pencil, and your self-learning module. Now that you are all set, take a look and study this figure. What does the figure show? This figure is a geophysical hazard map that shows the areas in the country that are at risk to volcanic eruptions. As mentioned previously in our last episode, the Philippines lies within the Pacific Ring of Fire, a region of subduction zone volcanism surrounding the Pacific Ocean. This explains the distribution of most volcanoes in the Philippines. Volcanoes are generally described as mountains that emit volcanic products like lava, rocks, ashes, and gases from the interior of the earth through its vents. When the tectonic plates move apart or diverge, magma will ooze out from the cracks and fissures of the crust that are moving apart forming vents. These will then lead to formation of new land masses, volcanoes, and volcanic activities. On the other hand, when the plates move towards each other or converge, Upon collision, the plate that sinks or subducts will melt in the mantle. And where there is melting of the plates, formation of volcanoes occurs. In the Philippines, volcanoes and volcanic activities are classified and monitored by the Philippine Institute of Volcanology and Seismology, or FIVOX. FIVOX classifies volcanoes according to its eruptive history. It can be active, potentially active, and inactive. Volcanoes that are currently erupting or are expected to erupt in the near future are called active volcanoes. Volcanoes that are not currently erupting but have erupted within recordable history and are expected to erupt again in the future are called potentially active or dormant volcanoes. While volcanoes that are considered as dead and are not expected to erupt in the future are called inactive or extinct volcanoes. Did you know that there are three major types of volcanoes based on their shapes and structure? You heard me right. Let's explore them one by one. The simplest, most common type and has a characteristic of a cone shape is a cinder cone volcano. This volcano can be as high as 100 to 400 meters, which emits a volcanic ash during eruption. 
The second type is characterized by a tall conical mountain composed of an alternating layer of lava flow which justifies its name, a composite volcano. Also known as stratovolcanoes, it can be up to 100 to 3,500 meters high, which emits both volcanic ash and lava during eruption. The third type are huge, gently sloped volcanoes that almost exclusively erupt basaltic lava and include some of the largest volcanoes in the world, the shield volcanoes. They can be as high as 9,000 meters from the base which emit lava during an eruption. Wonder Warriors, did you know that 24 historically active volcanoes are distributed all over the Philippine archipelago? As shown in this figure, volcanoes are not present in some provinces. Areas with no presence of volcanoes have no risk to volcanic eruptions. In the mapping of Philippine vulnerability to environmental disasters by the Manila Observatory and the Department of Environment and Natural Resources shows the provinces at risk to volcanic activities. These are the top 10 provinces at risk to volcanic eruptions. Kamigen, Sulu, Biliran, Albay, Bataan, Sorsogon, South Cotabato, Laguna, Camarines Sur, and Batanes. You might wonder that Camigan Island ranked the highest risk. That's because the land area of Camigan is so small, such that a volcanic eruption can affect the whole province. But don't be afraid to visit the island of Camigan. Known as the island born of fire, it has seven volcanoes and several volcanic domes. Besides the natural wonders and historical reaches, Kamigin's uniqueness lies in its varied terrain, pristine natural environment, and rustic setting. Of course, it is the home of our favorite pastel, a Filipino soft bun with yema filling and the sweet pebble-like fruit lanzones. Sulu, on the other hand, ranked the second because it has the most number of active and potentially active volcanoes. Take a look at this map. Can you name the active and potentially active volcanoes located in Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao? Active volcanoes include Mount Pinatubo, Mount Taal, and Mount Mayon in Luzon, Mount Kanlaon in Visayas, Mount Kibokibok, Mount Tragang, and Mount Matutom in Mindanao. Taal Volcano is one of the 24 active volcanoes listed by the Philippine Institute of Volcanology and Seismology. Located in Batangas, a province 60 kilometers south of Manila, the Taal Volcano and the area around it have become one of the most frequented vacation spots in southern Luzon. Although Taal Volcano is classified as an active volcano, it hasn't erupted in 43 years or since 1977. But early this year, the Al volcano erupted in the afternoon of Sunday, January 12, 2020. The eruption was classified as phreatic eruption by the Philippine Institute of Volcanology and Seismology, which generated a plume of ash around 100 meters high. Phreatic eruption is a steam-driven episode that occurs when water beneath the ground or on the surface is heated by magma, lava, hot rocks, or new volcanic deposits. During periodic eruptions, no new magma is produced. Only fragments of pre-existing solid rock in the volcano are expelled. On that same day, the steam-driven series of blasts became a pretomagnetic corruption, meaning that magma and water were violently and exclusively mixing. Pretomagnetic explosions can send ash and debris into the air. Volcanic earthquakes may be able to cause structural damage, and the appearance of new features can damage roads and houses. The next day, the Al volcano's phreatic or steam-driven activity progress into magmatic eruption. Magmatic eruptions involve the rise of magma toward the surface. In the case of Taal Volcano, the magnetic eruption is characterized by weak fountaining lava accompanied by thunder and flashes of lightning. If seismologists use the Richter scale to measure earthquake strength, 
Volcanoes have a similar scale called the Volcanic Exclusivity Index or VEI. This scale gives us a way to measure the relative exclusiveness of volcanic eruptions. It measures how much volcanic material is ejected, the height of the material thrown into the atmosphere, and how long the eruption lasts. The scale is logarithmic or based on 10. Therefore, an increase of 1 on the scale indicates an eruption 10 times powerful more than the number before it on the scale. In the case of the out eruption on January 12, 2020, it has reached a VEI of 3 to 4 due to the amount of volcanic material ejected and the height of the material thrown into the atmosphere. Mount Mayon's eruption in 2018 is around 2 to 3, while Mount Pinatubo eruption in 1991 remained the world's largest volcanic eruption to happen in the past 100 years with a volcanic explosivity index of 6. Wonder Warriors, how are you so far? Don't forget to take note of the important details in your paper to easily remember our lesson. So there, you have just learned about the formation of volcanoes and volcanic activities. And now, challenge yourself to do this five item quiz. I will read the question and choices once. You are only given five seconds to write the letter of the correct answer for each question. You will be given one gold coin for every correct answer. Are you now ready? Wonder Warriors, let's play Science Pop Quiz! Question number one. Which type of volcano is characterized by a tall, conical mountain composed of an alternating layer of lava flow? A. Cinder Cone Volcano B. Composite Volcano C. Shield Volcano or D. Torment Volcanoes The correct answer is letter B, Composite Volcano. Question number two. Which of the following is a steam-driven episode that occurs when water beneath the ground or on the surface is heated by magma, lava, hot rocks, or new volcanic deposits? A. Phreatic eruption. B. Predomagnetic eruption. C. Magmatic eruption. Or D. Plinian eruption. The correct answer is letter A, phreatic eruption. Question number three. Which volcanic eruption is a result of magma and water violently and exclusively mixing? A, Plinian eruption. B, phreatic eruption. C, magmatic eruption. Or D, pedomagmatic eruption. The correct answer is letter D, pedomagmatic eruption. Question number four. What province ranked the highest risk because of its small land area that a volcanic eruption can affect the whole place? A, Sulu. B, Patanes. C, Kamigin. D, Camarinesur. The correct answer is letter C, Kamigin. Question number five. According to the Philippine Institute of Volcanology and Seismology, how many historically active volcanoes are distributed all over the Philippine archipelago? A, 21. B, 22. C, 23. Or D, 24. The correct answer is letter D, 24. Very well done, Wonder Warriors. I am happy that you were able to challenge yourself to do the science pop quiz. And now, let us add all the gold coins you have collected from the science pop quiz. How many gold coins have you collected? For all the effort that you do, I will give you another fantastic badge. 
as you wander waters, whether you live or don't, in a place where a volcano is present, it is important that you are aware of the natural hazards such as volcanic corruptions. And why? That is to prepare yourselves and demonstrate the ways to ensure preparedness when disasters happen. Remember, the key to effective disaster prevention is planning. For your assignment, create a preparedness plan that we should do before, during, and after a volcanic eruption. Perform this activity with either family members or friends who are available to join you. Spread awareness and save lives using social media platforms. Share your volcanic eruption preparedness plan to the online world and use hashtag WonderReady. You did well today, Wonder Warriors. I am excited to see all your outputs in our next episode. And that ends our wonder adventure for today. But don't worry, more science adventures are coming your way. Always remember, science is fun for everyone. This has been your Wonder Explorer, Teacher Melvin. See you next time for another episode of Fun Wonder Adventures, only here at Deva TV.